the components required for this experiment are node mc board ds 18b20 waterproof temperature sensor 4.7 kilo ohm resistor connecting wires and connecting cable Now log into the bling.cloud website and go to templates page. Then click on new template. Here give any name for the template. And select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi and click on done button. Now go to data streams and click on new data stream and create click on the virtual pin and enter the variable name as temperature and select the virtual pin as v0 and data type as double give the maximum value as 100 we can also select the units for temperature now click on create now we can create one more data stream to display the temperature in Fahrenheit value. Here we can give, select the pin as V1 and give the maximum value as 100 and data type as double. Here we can give the unit as percentage and click on create button. Now go to web dashboard and drag gauge widget. Drag two gauge widgets since we are going to display the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. And here go to settings and select the data stream. Click on save and do the same for the next one. Here we need to select the second data stream. Click on save. Now save the template. Now go to the search button and click on new device. And then click on from template. Here we can see the template which we created. Now click on create button. Now we will get the template ID, template name and the, and the authentication token. Copy this and paste in our program. So this is our program and in the program we need to install the one wire Dallas temperature and the blink libraries. To install the libraries we need to go to tools and manage libraries. Here we can Type the name of the library which we need to install. So this library is already installed. Otherwise you will get an install button here and just click on this button and the libraries will be installed. Now upload the for up, to upload the program go to tools select the board as node MCU ESP8266 node, node MCU 1.0 and then select the port. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to the node MCU board. Now the program is uploaded successfully to the node MCU board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Now if you open the mobile application you can see the template which we created in the Blink web dashboard. Now open the template and go to settings. and add two gauge widgets one for temperature in celsius and another one for temperature in fahrenheit now click on the first gauge and select the data stream now give the give any name for this uh, widget now go back and click the second widget so here also we need to select the data stream and give the widget name. Now go back. Now the setup is completed and we can check the output now. 